Welcome back to the Pack Chat. I'm Jack Polishuk, joined by Reed Cummings, Kaysen Johnson, and Kira Cox. The Pack Chat is our student opinion segment where we will be discussing this week's most trending topics and share some of your thoughts on social media along the way. So let's get started. First and now suspected 17-year-old hacker responsible for the recent Uber attack and GTA 6 leaks was arrested in Oxfordshire on September 22nd as part of an investigation by the City of London Police and supported by the UK's National Crime Agency. The subject is believed to be linked to the Lapsus hacking group, which was blamed for breaches at Okta, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Samsung earlier this year. So do you guys think, like, how big of a deal do you think this guy is? Like, he was 17 years old. That is kind of crazy. That's like, insane. That's impressive. Yeah. Like, how did he get past all those, like, what are they? What did you say, multi-million dollar companies? Um, <laughs> like Microsoft, Microsoft, NVIDIA, yeah. Big, yeah. Yeah, what? that's insane. I mean, he has a crazy portfolio. Like, mm -hmm. if, if anyone, any bad people or good people <laughs> wanted to pick him up to, like, work yeah. with them, it could be used for a huge right? job opportunity. I haven't actually seen any of the leaks yet. Uh, I need to watch those. They're but old. I've heard they're pretty insane. They're, they're dope. It, I think it's going to be good again, my opinion. Uh, next, a funeral for former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was held on Tuesday after he was assassinated on July 8th. However, like all of these stories, the funeral came with a bit of controversy as the funeral costed $11.5 million in taxpayers' money and Abe's history of corruption and ties to the Unification Church, which is seen as a cult by some, and has had alleged history of defrauding members. Many local governments have passed resolutions calling for the cancellation of the event, and a man even set himself on fire. So I don't know about y'all, but I don't really get what is so polarizing about this. Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, I guess because it's like taxpayers' money and they didn't get a say in what it was spent for, but he also spent like 15 years like for like the country and like, I guess, leading them. And so it's like trying to give him like something for all the time he spent. I'm still confused. A guy set himself on, on fire. <laughs> yeah. What, what, was it, what was that about? So because like I guess I see what I, I mean I guess it was the church. I think the church is the biggest issue for a lot of people because like it's really um, corrupted and so like a lot of families become bankrupt because of the church. You know a lot of like older members will donate money and that you know that was the cause of the assassination. Um, but other than that, like, don't most funerals cost, like, taxpayer money? So I don't really get what's the big deal about that, you know? Okay. Um, finally, far-right leader Giorgia Maloney is set to become the next Italian prime minister. She will become Italy's first far-right leader since World War II and has had politicians accusing her of spreading white supremacist ideas. Maloney would also be the first uh, Italian f female prime minister, and she has advocated for anti-immigration, Maloney is also part of the Brothers of Italy party, which can trace its roots back to a fascist party founded by supporters of dictator Benito, Benito Mussolini. Although Maloney has rejected any ideas of lingering fascist tendencies. So what are you guys thinking about this? Lots of, lots of international talk. Right, right. I mean, it's, it's cool that like, Italy has the first female prime minister, but I also see how it's controversial that she's far right, because no one's really been that since World War II, which is but I don't I'm not vibing with her policies I gotta yeah, be real I think that she's trying to like keep Italy as like just Italy and not letting anyone else in which right. is like stopping it from like very, growing and trying to keep like Italy like very like Italian roots very anti-immigration yeah and so like she's talked about that a lot like especially from Africa and yeah I I, I don't vibe with her I'm not gonna lie um, that's all we have for today's pack chat. And remember, pack, there's always time to chat.